Yellow jacket nest, it looks like it's abandoned. I may have seen, actually I think I saw one wasp uh, fly into it, but um, you can see uh, gorgeous colors here. Some nice uh, texture to the paper. Um, so I'm just gonna try to collect this. Actually, um, this is actually out on a uh, nature nature preserve. I found this nest back in July when it was pretty active and uh, this species is usually done by anywhere from uh, the third week of August till around maybe the first or second week of September and this nest appears to be uh, finished. There might be a few workers left but um, I don't think there's really anything so I was just going to try to collect this and um, kind of not a real big nest collector but I did find this nest when it was active so it's uh, cool that it's still here. It uh, escaped uh, detection. This is like an old historic house like just at the uh, preserve but uh, nobody really uses it. Um, so yeah I'm just going to get this down and I can show it to you. Kind of stand and balance up a little on the ladder. It's at the top of this porch roof maybe about uh, nine feet up. I don't know. Just guessing. All right. Nest down. This is what it looks like. If anybody watched uh, my video from yesterday you could see that um, the German yellow jacket and those other vespula species have pillars, whereas this is, uh, they have ribbons. So it's like more thick uh, kind of ribbon supporting the combs, connecting the combs. Um, not the, the cord-like suspensoria. Pretty envelope, nice colors. So it's, uh, so it's got one, two, three, four, five combs. They had started a sixth, but never really got anywhere. Just built up the base of some cells. You can kind of see it. See it right there. But never really reared anything. So the nest, the queen died, and the nest declined before they could really build a, a sixth comb. So yeah, pretty cool. Neat, kind of got a neat shape to it. This comb kind of goes out, and then there's like another piece up there. Kind of interesting. Yeah, they're a cool species. They're very aggressive, though. Um, I find their stings not as painful as some other species, but yeah, they're very quick to go off. So, I actually tried to relocate a nest to the species earlier in the summer, but just it was too uh, too aggressive. So, but yeah, you can see they got queen cells. And then males, workers and males and queens are actually reared in the same comb. But yeah, there was one worker left in this nest, so. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And the top comb, the first two combs are usually mostly workers, and then they have queens. Actually, in all the, the combs, uh, they can have the large cells. Um, and then mostly the larger cells are in the bottom. So like the top two combs use mostly be workers and then these larger combs here have um, larger cells I should say. Um, so smaller cell combs and then larger cell here at the bottom. And then uh, yeah that's pretty much it. That's where it was. It was one wasp, one worker left. In the nest, but on that, it's uh, finished. All right, thanks for watching.